The first question, the biggest question right now would be, will your progressive brand of pol politics be appealing enough in your district to actually win the general election? Absolutely. What we're hearing from families is they're concerned about everyday economic issues, about how Trump's actions are hurting their pocketbooks and are antithetical to their values. They're very concerned about the rising costs of health care. They're concerned about Trump repealing environmental protections that give their kids clean air and clean water. Um, we're hearing people that are very concerned about Trump's reckless trade policy. So folks here are very concerned about the basic consumer protections and the kind of fundamental tenets of our economy and how Trump is attacking some of those institutions. Well, with specific regards to those institutions, earlier in the past 24 hours, actually, President Trump has criticized the Federal Reserve. What do you make of all that? The Federal Reserve has a key, it's a cornerstone of our economy. Um, their job is to govern our monetary policy and help create the foundation that our American businesses and consumers need to prosper. Um, and frankly, the Federal Reserve should be protected from any kind of um, partisan politics or any kind of bickering. Um, the job of the Federal Reserve is to take the long-term view to help American, um, the American right. economy prosper. And so I, I think it's important to protect their sound decision makings and their longstanding historic processes. Katie, you were a student of then Professor Elizabeth Warren back uh, when, when you were in, in law school. So, but, but let me ask you, because there's this interesting debate going on right now within the Democratic Party. Should it move far to the left? Should it go in the socialist Sanders wing of the Democratic Party? Or should it be more centrist? Are you a socialist progressive? Or how would you define yourself in terms of the Democratic tension that's going on? Here's how I think about it. All Americans, no matter where they live and how they vote, want an economy that works for them. I've seen this from my work as a consumer advocate. Nobody likes to be ripped off. So I think what we're seeing is across the board, um, families here in Orange County, regardless of how they voted or um, kind of what industry they work in, they want a fair shake in this economy. They want health care that is stable in its pricing, that is I affordable, hear you. that I hear you. But where are you on the tension right now, Katie, within the Democratic Party? Socialist? or centrist? Oh, I think my job is to talk about my work fighting for families. So I have a long track record of standing up for families who were cheated, helping those who are facing foreclosure, making sure that big banks um, follow the law. And so those are the issues that we're going to be talking about. When I'm on the campaign trail, what I hear from families is they want to talk about health care. They want to talk about Mimi Walters' vote for the disastrous tax plan that's an attack on Californians and it's going to worsen our housing affordability crisis. Um, they want to talk about the repeal of important environmental protections. That's where the conversation is in all of these races, including mine. And yet the key question would be, will Democrats be motivated enough with all of those issues, with all of those ongoing issues to actually come out and vote in November? We saw huge increases in turnout in this primary. It was an open primary here in California. Republicans declined to state or independent voters, Democratic voters. Um, all of them turned out in record numbers. And in our race, we're competing for all of the votes that we need, not just Democrats. We know that all Orange County families are hurt by Mimi Walters' terrible vote against our interests on the tax plan, for example, against our interest in support of Trump's health care plan. And so we're going to reach out to every voter we can because they're all going to be hurt by these policies. And what about the Supreme Court nomination process? Do you expect this process to actually affect or have an impact in November? I think a lot of families here in Orange County, and certainly I'm one of them, are concerned about making sure that we protect a woman's right to choose. Women's health care is an important issue. Um, it's been settled law here. It's widespread support in California for making sure that Planned Parenthood, for example, is allowed to do its job of providing both women's health care, but also primary care um, to men and women. So I think we're all concerned about what um, the nomination, uh, the confirmation, excuse me, of Kavanaugh could mean for those kinds of longstanding rights.